Coach Randy Brown with CoachRB.com. Have you ever, ever talked to a basketball coach that didn't moan about how his team doesn't talk and there's such a lack of communication on the floor? I don't think I've ever ran into that guy. So that's the topic of uh, today's segment, communication. I'm going to give you some great verbal, nonverbal ideas on how you can build and foster and maintain a consistent method of communicating on the basketball floor. Unlike football, basketball is in a confined area where you can talk, where you can hear, where you can sense teammates for the benefit of your team. All right, so let's jump right in, into it. There's two kinds, verbal and nonverbal. Verbal communication. I would incorporate in all of your drills, if starting practice with a three-man weave, we'll say, any shooting drills, that the passer always calls the name of the person that they're passing to. Now, it might seem trivial, but over time, okay, they not only will continue to do that, but that will carry over to defensive talk and talk all over the floor. The second thing is on defense. I mean, defense is built on communication, especially those guys uh, in, on the help side, the four guys on the help side, always talking to each other and talking to the player guarding the ball. Hey, I got your help. I got your help. Um, I'm back here. On ball screen, screen, you know, down screen, all kinds of talk, even block out, you know, shot and block out. I mean, it, there should be in your practice, you should film it and listen to either the lack of talk or, or the maximum uh, of talking going on, on the basketball floor. Defensively, it should be an absolute um, talk fest. All right, next one, ball. Here's a great verbal way to tell a teammate that you're open. Simply calling ball. I mean, that one word, you know, could be I'm open. It could be just calling the name of your teammate with the ball. But the word ball is huge. It's a, it's a great verbal to tell your teammates what to do. Early and often. I love this. Early and often. Communicate early and do it often. What probably one of the best ex examples is a on-ball screen. How many times uh, do you see uh, a post following the offensive post to come up and set an on-ball screen? And after the play's already started and the guard dribbling off the on-ball, he's calling screen. Now, the word screen doesn't mean anything. But screen coming right, screen coming right early will really alert the player that's going to be screened and then you can work it out and do it often. Do it all the time, early and often. I think that's a great little motto. Now, no talk drills. Now this is great. Can you imagine running a drill or defensive possessions and tell players they cannot say a word? And if they say a word, they're gonna go down to the baseline and they're gonna run. It's very frustrating and it's hard to do. So, run drills where your players are not allowed to talk. It's awesome. And they're going to realize how frustrating that is. Then say, okay, I want you to fill this gym with communication. And they will. And it's kind of a neat thing to go back to, uh, to emphasize to them how important it is to talk. All right, let's jump over to nonverbal. You know, your eyes are huge. Your eyes are huge in the game. Uh, not only uh, to trick defenders with where you're going to go, Okay, and on shot fakes and things like that. But eyes with your teammates. You know, one of the great examples is two teammates connect with eye contact and the ball's thrown up uh, for an alley-oop. So all over the floor, use your eyes to, con uh, to communicate with your teammates. Hands, I'd mentioned ball earlier. All right, I think not only calling ball, but a great nonverbal is right here. And I call it the window because you're creating a window. We do this with, with young players that we teach. Okay, so as you're coming off a screen, show the window. And even if you don't call ball or the player's name, this says, I'm open, throw me the ball. Okay, we have a great opportunity to score. And then a target hand. You know, it could be a target hand in the post where the post player is saying, I want the ball here. And, and especially players that are cutting to get open. Okay, the idea is to throw the ball away from the defense, not to, not to your teammate. Okay, and so a, a person cutting and getting open on the wing 
should be arm bar here on the defender and asking your teammate to throw the ball away from the defense. So verbal and nonverbal communication. Use this okay, to build, foster, and become consistent uh, in, with communication with your team on the floor. It'll really help.